As industrial designers, one of the hardest things to overcome is breaking through designer's block. This is when you find yourself sketching the same thing and rehashing the same five or 10 shapes or ideas over and over again. And this video is going to show you ways to break free from that pattern by forcing your mind to see things differently. So one of the best ways to do this is to forget everything you know about a given product category. This is much easier said than done. So I'm drawing earbuds here and I've intentionally chosen to sketch earbuds because I've actually designed them before. I know about the internal assembly, I know about how to make them comfortable, and my knowledge on this subject is very useful for designing earbuds that are practical. But it can also be a hindrance if I'm trying to be innovative in the space. Experts have a tendency to lean on what they know will work. So I'll employ some of these ideation techniques to get past this barrier. This is going to allow you to combine your technical knowledge of a product category while still approaching it with a fresh set of eyes. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sketching some random blocks here and trying to see where I can find some interesting shapes. The darker areas in my eyes at least represent the shadows and the lighter areas represent highlights. I'm not worrying about functionality or comfort or any kind of product requirement here. I'll come back to those things later. Right now, I'm just focusing on creating these interesting little mini compositions. From there, I can turn down the opacity and start to rough out some lines as you can see here. Then I can add some darker and lighter values to help me understand how the surfaces are bending. Now, to be clear, I know that a lot of these concepts are kind of over-designed and overly complex. I get it. And for now, that's okay. What I'm trying to do here is develop some ideas that stand out, and then I'll go back and simplify the designs to figure out what the visual icon should be later or you know how I can integrate some functional requirements. At least for me personally, I find it easier to start overly complex and then gradually pull it back and simplify rather than the other way around. So this first round was okay, and as I got through the second round of sketches here, I started to get a little bit more confidence and sort of hit a rhythm or hit my stride. So right now I'm just drawing one quick ink blot and rotating it. I'm starting to get some concepts that I'm more excited about. There are some interesting visual signatures. There's even some opportunities to improve comfort and ergonomics in ways that I would not have thought of on my own. There's absolutely no way that I ever would have drawn these shapes just out of my head. It was through drawing these really abstract ink blots that I was able to come up with these ideas. If I change the type of brush that I'm using, it also changes the style of the design a little bit. So if I use a more wispy brush, it causes me to see more sweepy and flowing designs. If I use a more angular brush, it changes it to be more angular. So the next step after this would be to simplify the design, maybe build some physical prototypes to test comfort, and of course make sure that all of the internal parts fit in there and still sound okay. This is just a starting point, and I know that these designs need a lot of refinement. So this inkblot technique is essentially just sort of tapping into your subconscious, and it's pretty cool but you can use this exact same principle with other methods. Right now I'm changing things up a little bit. I'm designing bike lights. I'm not designing earbuds anymore. And I'm just folding some paper to create some interesting designs. I'm not worried about making these little folded paper compositions look like a bike light. In fact, I'm steering away from any preconceived notion around what I think a bike light should be or what I think it should look like or how I think it should function. I'm only focused on creating interesting compositions. I can then take these folded paper photos, lower the opacity, and sketch over them to come up with other industrial design bike light concepts. This is a good technique if you're not super comfortable with sketching because now you don't have to worry about getting the perspective right. You already have an underlay that you know is gonna be in the correct perspective. You can even take random things laying around your house and just take photos of interesting compositions and sketch over them. I learned this technique way back in 2009 from one of my professors, Rafi Manassian. Once again, there's absolutely no way that I would have come up with these bike light concepts without utilizing this technique. These compositions force me to look at things differently. My current workflow here is a digital workflow, but you can use this exact same thing by simply printing out these images or drawing ink blots with pen, pencil, or marker, etc., etc., I've come up with multiple concepts this way throughout my career. Some of these ink blot ideas are the ones that actually make it all the way to final production in some of my projects. 
So it's a totally viable and practical ideation technique for industrial design. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you found the video helpful in the comments or if you use other similar techniques for industrial design ideation. I might do another video about finding inspiration from outside sources such as film, nature, etc. But in the meantime, please share any sketches that you've done using this technique with me on my Instagram or LinkedIn. Just tag me or use the hashtag inkblotsketch. So if you wanna learn more about abstract industrial design ideation techniques, I highly recommend a talk by Scott Robertson, which I will link in the video description below. It's very comprehensive and it's really, really good. Thanks again, guys, and see you next time.